Huffing started in the 1970s where a group of farmers um, grouped together to try and build a quality brand. They essentially employed a man to check whether the potatoes in that field were good enough to go into a puffing bag or they had to go into a, a brown paper bag. Those potatoes then were sent throughout the wholesale markets throughout the UK and very quickly the puffing brand, the puffing bag, picked up a reputation for being an excellent product. The company then evolved as the supermarkets became more prevalent over the, the following 15-20 years. Um, the group of farmers realised they had to start washing and packing their own potatoes in the format that you see on supermarket shelves today. So in 1995 they came onto this site and put a wash line in and the business has grown since then. We essentially have 20 growers that supply our products into this factory. We then supply that out to most of the major retailers in Wales, to their Welsh stores. Our, our business is built on Welsh provenance. We very much work within the borders of Wales, supplying Welsh fresh produce onto Welsh supermarket shelves. We've had a great deal of help from the Welsh Government over the last six or seven years. We've had a significant uh, PMG grant that has helped this business grow quickly. We worked very closely with the food centres on product development. Um, we've also had help with the, the protected food name status of the Pembrokeshire Earlies. You know, it's benefited us greatly since we've had that. You know, particularly the high-end retailers respond very well to that mark on the bag. You know, we want to keep expanding. We're now doing probably 80% of the retail potatoes in the major multiples in Wales. We're looking to broaden that range of fresh produce, so other whole veg. And I think the next big step is to add value to that. People are buying more ready prepared veg, so I think uh, that's one of the things we want to do in the next 12 or 18 months is build a facility here that will do prep veg into the supermarkets in Wales.